Namaste students, Kishro Vidya. I am Jayvon Dr. Vaishan Mishra, Assistant Professor Jyoti Vidyapit, Women's University, Jaipur. In today's session, we are going to discuss about the transgenic class. So, first of all, what is transgenic plants? Transgenic plants are the plants which have been genetically modified utilizing the human DNA technology. Okay? So, to express that exogenic genus change or modify the exogenous change. Okay? So, here the uh, transgenic plants which are genetically modified to carry out the desirable traits like diseases, resistance, insect resistance, herbicide resistance. So those plants we call it as transgenic plants. Like our bacillus thuringiensis uh, is the soil bacterium that are produced in the protein which with the insecticidal property that is between toxin protein which occur in an inactive to toxin form. So here, uh, the genetically uh, engineered uh, part is using used as a recombinant DNA technology or a trans gene in order to introduce a desired trait novel to the original plant. Okay. So how these transgenic plants are made? The uh, genetically modified uh, is a technology that involves the inserting DNA into a genome of an organism to produce a GM plant or a new plant DNA is transferred into the plant cells using the cell are also grown in a tissue culture where they develop into plant or the seed produced by these plants will inherit the new DNA. Okay? So uh, what is uh, in in the uh, in like India's first uh, transgenic crop, then leaky cotton was uh, India's first transgenic crop. This would be normally uh, asked in the competitive examination. So, uh, so the transgenes, uh, these are the foreign genes or a genetic material that has been transferred naturally or by any other number of uh, genetic uh, engineered materials or forms of an organism. So, uh, transgenesis is a phenomenon of uh, introduction of exogenesis. Okay? When we say So here the trans, um, trans genetic plants or the plant food season is altered by an adding more and more trans genes are known as the transgenic plants. So uh, when we see the history, the first transgenic plant was produced which was an antibiotic resistance tobacco plant in 1980. Uh, then uh, the first successful plant genetic engineering experiment was in uh, polymovirus vectors or the first uh, uh, genetic modified crop into uh, from the US was flower server in tomato or first specimen type produced crop that is BT potato was approved by US Environment Protection Agency. The first genetically modified uh, moon dust, bluish colored. Carnation was introduced. Golden rice with beta carotene uh, developed in the uh, increased nutritional values. First genetically engineered crop developed by Robert Carley and so why is this transgenic plants? What is the requirement? What is the need to develop this? Such as the Plants can be herbicide resistance or disease resistance. Okay. So 
is here, you can see why the transgenic plants are needed. What is the uh, requirement of here uh, to develop a transgenic uh, plants, right? So, so why it is required to have a transgenic plant? To develop a resistance, uh, uh, herbicide resistance part or to develop an insecticide resistance plant, that means the plant which can be resistant to uh, her, uh, here herbicides and the development of here. So here uh, you can see the insecticide resistance plants or the insecticide resistance part. Okay? That means the bio biotic stress uh, tolerance plants, the plants which can be biotic, biotic stress one. Okay? So here the abiotic stress abiotic stress part is there, abiotic stress tolerance is there. Then comes their efficient self-life, increasing the self-life of any, any uh, fruit or vegetables that can be helpful. Development of an industrial production, pharmaceutical and vaccines. Nutritionally qualitative one, which can be nutritionally qualitative one, which can develop into a uh, much more uh, quality like that of the enhancement of the beta carotene here. Here, the gene transfer method we are done by like biological method or uh, agrobacterium mediated gene transfer or plant virus vector. Second is the physical method that is uh, electroporation or the micro projectile, micro injection and liposome fusion. The chemical methods are the poly uh, ethylene glycol mediated or diethylene amino ethylene dextrin mediated. So the agro or bacterium or the agro mediated gene transfers take place by transferring of a na uh, na nature's most effective like plant genetic engineer uh, techniques. So agro bacterium uh, infects the wound or the damage the uh, tissue resulting in the formation of the plant tumor. Called the called crown gone. The bacterium released in the T1 plant meat into the plant cells of the cytoplasm to produce the crown uh, ball and the central dipos are affected by this species is called the leaves or roses at the plant. So these techniques are being used to organization the plant meat, the size of the plant meat. Okay.
here you can see the organization of the classmates, uh, the size of the TI classmates with the top 200 points. And the TI classmates are there uh, three, three important regions that is the TI classmate region, parolence region, and fine determinizer region. And there are, is a OA region that is responsible for the TI representation. This is the TI uh, region. This completely is the TI region. And this is the virulence region here. The virulence region is here. And So here, uh, as you have seen, the uh, TI region, wellness region, and the open catabolism region. So the transformation techniques using the endobacterium is like TI plasmid or the transfer chain, uh, which can be uh, obtained or uh, like the which can be transferred or uh, to a part here, like the, the TA plasmate or the transfer target transfer genes are being used. So here you can see the TA plasmids and the target gene. So the here the target gene, here the target gene is being used for incorporating mutants. Okay, here plasmid with the target gene. So here the agrobacterium uh, is form where the normal plant like uh, in a ditch and then you can see the cell is incorporated into that and the culture in a disk was formed and the culture was selected in which the, it was incorporated and the induction was done to develop a new plant. Physical gene transpiration is take place through the electroporation. Okay. Electroporation involves the creation of the pores in the cells or the membrane using an electric impulse. Okay. And uh, the high yield or a few, the DNA is present in a buffer. Okay. So if the DNA is present in a buffer, then this uh, can be used. So here the electro, uh, you can see the electric field or electrode is uh, given in which the insertion was there, the cell membrane was there, and the insertion for the voltation of the cell state is uh, of the small molecules uh, forming the induction of the large molecules. 
Particle bombardment method where the particles are being bombarded and it is seen as the micro projectiles or the bombardment, bioplastic or uh, different techniques of the drone or a foreign uh, DNA depend on that. We have an oxygen with high density transfers into the memory of microorganisms. So, micro injections are also different techniques used in the involving the mechanism of the uh, insertion of the. So, liposome mediated transformation takes place. So, chemical gene mediated transformation takes place with that for polyethylene to change like all of the mediated transformation. So, the marker genes of the plant transformation with a selective uh, marker gene or a photogene. gene. Uh, they have a different application side resistance in the biotics, uh, synthesized resistance, virus resistance. Fungal and bacterial resistance, herbicide resistance, glyphosate, extended cells, life of the food, into vaccine or essential protein. Thank you. This session is powered by 2.0 to this topic. If you have any queries, please discuss in the problem solving session.